there are renewed calls for seat belts on school buses. So why aren't most kids buckled in? Today, national investigative correspondent Jeff Rawson is here with more on that. Jeff, it's such a sad story and such an important question. It certainly is, and for all of us parents, so devastating to watch. And that school bus in Chattanooga did not have seat belts. Some of the kids were actually ejected upon impact. And it turns out most kids nationwide are riding to school right now without seat belts. Federal officials say seat belts would make school buses safer. So why aren't they required this morning? We are going straight to the top for answers. The scene in Chattanooga is devastating. The bus split in half by a tree. The school bus flipped off the roadway. It is occupied with children. They believe there's ejections. Inside, the children weren't wearing seat belts. Why? Because their bus didn't have any. In fact, most buses don't. Experts call it appalling. I feel very strongly that we should have seat belts on every school bus in the United States. When you look at children from the age of zero to five, they are correctly restrained in the back seat of their vehicle. That's their habit. They know that's safer. They get on their big yellow school bus. Where are the seat belts? Believe it or not, most states don't don't require seat belts on school buses. Only these six states do, and there is no federal requirement. The consequences can be deadly. School bus accidents keep happening across the country. Wapolo, Iowa, the driver of this bus losing control. Kids sent flying out of their seats, injuring all 10 on board. Tulsa, Oklahoma, another bus swerving off the road. Four students sent to the hospital. Experts say seatbelts can make all the difference between life and death. Just watch this crash test video. These dummies don't have seatbelts on. Now look at the dummies that do. Big difference. They stay in their seats. Last September, I went to see the administrator of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Would safety belts make them even safer? Absolutely. So why not mandate that right now? And so that's really the question that we've been looking at. There's no question that the safety belts would help, but the issue is beyond just that, how do we make student transportation safer? With all due respect, NHTSA has been looking at this for a long time. What do you say to the parents who are putting their kids on buses today? They don't want to wait. You bet. And right now, putting them on that big yellow school bus is still the safest way to get to school. While NHTSA has since recommended belts on buses, there is still no federal law requiring them. Experts say until that happens, we could see more tragedies like the one this week. A great example is the bus driver. He has to wear a seatbelt, but why don't all the passengers behind him have to wear a seatbelt as well? So it is the burning question. Why don't most school buses have seat belts? Let me show you the seats. Are, as you know from all of us who've been on school buses are high and padded. The thinking here is that this would keep a child in the seat. They would bounce between the seats. The tall seats would keep them from flying out. But as we see, that doesn't always work. And there's also a cost to this as well, guys. It always comes down to money. NHTSA says it would cost anywhere between seven and ten thousand dollars to retrofit every bus in the country. That would obviously take millions, if not billions of dollars and they say it would take years to do, but they still say they stand by it. We talked to them late yesterday that there should be a three-point belt buckle on every single school bus in the country. It's going to take years, but why not start today? I agree. Yeah. Jeff. Right, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.